Have you ever felt like the CarPlay or the Android Auto system in your car is very limited and wanted to unlock more features? Simple Car Guy here and today we are checking out this 3-in-1 wireless CarPlay adapter that unlocks access to many additional apps. Let's get it set up and see what it can do. Alright, so the first thing to do is to connect this wireless adapter to the car. So this is meant for cars that have wired wired Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and this will convert it to wireless. I assume that most of you watching this video already know how to use Apple CarPlay and things like that but basically the idea here is that instead of plugging in your phone into the USB you have either standard USB or you can also use the Type-C so whichever one your car uses. So you use whichever one and then you're going to plug this into your car instead of your phone. And then we're just going to connect to this device wirelessly and then from there it should be pretty easy. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's plug it in. And there it is. So we can hit on Apple CarPlay. It's going to take a second for it to load up, but should be pretty quick. And there it is. And as you just saw, when it turns on, it looks a lot like a CarPlay display, but it's not. It's actually a different uh, interface, right? What's happening now though is it automatically connects to your Apple CarPlay but wirelessly now. So I have already configured this phone. I'll include that clip on the side here maybe. But basically I just uh, connected to Bluetooth and then provided the normal uh, permissions like allowed to sync contacts and use my Bluetooth device and all that stuff. Once it's connected you have a fully functioning wireless CarPlay. Now there's nothing different about this. This is exactly how you would normally have it with your wired connection. Still works just fine. The audio quality is just as good. There's no issue. So we can go and play our music. So if you want to play that, we can play our music from uh, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever, YouTube music, whatever that you normally use. We have our maps. So everything works as expected here. Nothing that you would, you know, nothing out of the ordinary once you are in the Apple CarPlay. And as you saw, it automatically connected within maybe 45 seconds total from me plugging it in to everything being turned on. So if you just get in the car for the first time of the day, by the time you put your seatbelt on and get started, the, you know, it's going to be all connected. But where is that extra functionality? Now, if you go back to this car icon right here, it takes us to this interface. This is the custom interface that was made by this company and it's based on Android. So we have our Play Store, we have all the apps that you could expect on a standard um, Android tablet uh, or, or at least like a car tablet, right? So if you get an aftermarket dash installed or aftermarket head unit, this is what you would kind of see on some of those units. But this obviously doesn't require any installation. We just plug it into the USB cable. So some of the first steps you would do as you connect to this device is set up your Bluetooth, right? First time you go to speed play, it will ask you to connect to the AI box. You connect to it and then everything else kind of just automatically works after that. You can also use this device itself to play music or have uh, the Bluetooth audio come out for your phone. So that's easily done. But clearly the main advantage of having this device is that we have things like YouTube and we have Prime Video and Hulu and Netflix and TikTok and VLC and all of these things. Now, why would you want that? Well, because when you're parked, let's say you're waiting for somebody or things like that, you can just go to YouTube, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, which we are not at the moment. So let me connect to Wi-Fi first. All right, so now that we're back online, we can just search for any video that we like. I like this guy, he seems pretty good. Now we can click on the video and then just watch YouTube in your car. Just to make it super, super clear, obviously you would not watch YouTube while driving or Netflix or anything else for that matter. But if you're chilling in the car and you want to watch some YouTube or some videos, why not? Audio works perfectly, there is no delay, and you also have VLC. Why would you need that? Well, because I put the micro SD card from my dash cam and now we can go in here and actually watch the videos from that dash cam. How cool is that? So we don't even have to, you know, watch it on the tiny screen of the dash cam or anything like that. Take the micro SD card out, plug it into this device, and there you go. We can watch it live. Plays perfectly. It's smooth. There's no delay. 
I, I that's such a cool feature i was not expecting this to be able to just play this random format from my dash cam but it works and it works really well so yeah i really like that obviously you would use this for maybe loading up movies or videos or music or anything like that and then using the other apps that you may have downloaded from play store to play that media and speaking of the play store you can basically download any app that's compatible with this type of device and then you can add almost any functionality that you wish for example you can add uh, the torx app so you will have obd2 functionality with a low adapter so you buy a 20 dollar adapter plug it into your car and you can have information such as your coolant temperature and revs and whatever else you might want to see on the screen it will work there so that's pretty cool so what have we learned well this device basically takes your wired connection and converts it to wireless so you can just use it for that if you like it also keeps all of the original functionality so obviously your screen touch screen still works the buttons on the steering wheel work and everything else so that remains working as before which is pretty cool uh, it's compatible with most oem wired carplay cars so that would be any car basically that has wired carplay since like 2017 you definitely want to check the list on amazon's page uh, for this device they have a full list of what's compatible uh, they say they do not support aftermarket units but i've tested it and it seems to work it obviously adds a lot of features such as these apps so we have youtube and netflix on all of these other apps that you can download from the store it's very small doesn't take any room at all has this awesome micro sd card slot so we can load up music videos and play through this nice big screen within the car which is awesome for like dash cam footage and well it just works so i didn't have any issues with it it connected very quickly plugged everything in once you connect it to all of your devices and Wi-Fi and everything else, it just kind of works. So yeah, if you'd like to get one yourself, do check out the link in the description. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.